Australia third, ahead of Fascinating Rock on the outside of Pond Fake. They're coming towards the three and approaching the turn in in the Dubai Duty Free Irish Derby. And it's Kingfisher and Colm O'Donoghue in front. Orchestra and Shamie Heffern in second. A break of a few lengths to Australia, closing on the leading pair. And they're in front of Pond Fake and Fascinating Rock. They're racing down towards the final furlong now. And Orchestra in the centre in Australia. Cruising up on the outside now, the Epsom Derby winner, long odds on favourite Australia, goes past his two stable companions, and now Australia wins, he's down, going up towards the finish, he joins an elite group who've completed the double, it's another one for Bally Doyle, 11 derbies for Aidan O'Brien, is second for Joseph, Australia beats Kingfisher, the sea. racing now towards the home turn, Akidmo feed on the inside, just leads, light heavy, dropping out quickly is Astrology, Camelot moved into third, being tracked all the while by Born to Sea, so they straighten up for home now, and Akid Mofid and William Buick on the rail Light Heavy and Kevin Manning here comes Camelot between horses Born to Sea tries to go with them on the outside, they're beginning to race now with a furling and a half to go, and Camelot hits the front, chased by Born to Sea who's making ground towards the near side, they're racing down towards the final furlong, it's Camelot in front Born to Sea is trying hard to close it on the near side, they're racing inside the final 150 yards and Camelot and Joseph O'Brien is going to stay on to win the derby for in second place born to see then light heavy followed in by a Kidmo feed behind her and must meet still in touch a length behind them as they race towards the home turn ace from Dylan Thomas on the outside now moving up then comes Ouija board Alexander Goldrun about to begin her effort and must meet coming through from the back as they level up for home they've two furlongs to race they fan out and it's Dylan Thomas Ouija board Ace drops away. Here comes Alexander Goldrun. Must meet behind them. They were furling and a half to race, and Ouija board goes to the lead. From Dylan Thomas, Alexander Goldrun in pursuit on the near side as they race into the final furlong. Ouija board and Jamie Spencer. Dylan Thomas, Kieran Fallon fighting back on the inside as they race up towards the line. Dylan Thomas on the inside. Dylan Thomas fights back and wins it from Ouija board in second. Alexander Goldrun third. Must be Celebration four. has come over from his wide berth into a bit division. On the wide outside, though, is Fallon for you, William Buick, Casper, uh, and behind those most improved, just ridden along by Kieran Fallon. It's on the inside, though, Elusive Kate. On the outside there is Cityscape, James Doyle. Pushed along is Golden Lilac in third place. X Celebration is in fourth at the moment and being hustled along by Christoph Sumion. Uh, dropping out of it there is Fallen for you, but on the inside Elusive Kate, Frankie de Tori, Cityscape, James Doyle. On the far side, X Celebration now finds room under Christoph Sumion. There's no Frankel around today, but those colours are carried by City Escape and on the inside it's elusive case. It's X Celebration out in front. Christos Sumion, X Celebration out in front from City and Escape. Talismanic as they begin the run into the home straight in the arc of Vedavani, the pacemaker. Quickens away now, postponed in second position. This Vedavani leading by three as they head down with 400 meters to go. Postponed. Here's found now. The blue and orange coming through strongly. Siljan Saga behind this. New Bay for towards the right and also one foot in heaven. It's found. She's in front by two legs. Her stable mate, Hyler Mill, is in second position. Order of St George, another eight. No, Brian, he's got one, two, three at the moment. It's found, and Ryan Moore, she's clear as she races towards the line. She gains a magnificent victory. It's a one, two, three for O'Brien. Hyler Mill was in second. Order of St George is in third position. One, two, three in the arc for eight. Galileo still travelling sweetly just behind them. The crowd beginning to... Uh, Rev up now as they swing for home with uh, just three furlongs to race. Fusion from Mr. Combustible, Galileo, the dark blue colours, still going easily in fourth place as I stamp, sir. Exaltation, Golan is well back in the field. They're racing now into the last two furlongs, and here he comes. Galileo strikes for home. Fusion, Morshi in third, Mr. Combustible, Vinnie Rowe, I stamp, sir. Exaltation, but Galileo opens up to the furlong pole. It's Galileo, four, five lengths clear, and second is Morshi, and third place is Fusion, and as they race up to the line, Mick Canal is going to win his first Irish Derby, Galileo completes the big Derby double, this is as good as it gets, Galileo wins it impressively, second is Morshley, Golden late for third, just ahead of Fusion and Exaltation. George Mr. Washington oh, racing oh, kindly, oh, on the outside oh, is Proclamation oh, as they round the corner now and Court Masterpiece is last, heads a turn for home in the QE2, Killy Beggs gets the better of the pacemaker, here on the outside is Labrentis, to Raff is there as a danger, George Washington is tracking him and going well, a first long and a half left to go. A Rafa grabs Killy Beggs. Now Mick Canan is angling to get out on George Washington. He's got a full horse underneath him now as 
they race inside the two. It's a Rafa being tackled now by George Washington. George Washington the near side grabs the lead, and it's the real gorgeous George today. He starts to draw away a spectacular win in the QE2. George Washington beats a Rafa. Third then called Masterpiece. And Mick Canan can choose to go when he wants, if he can. Giants Causeway the inside. Kalanisi in third under Pat Edry. Then Leah Spear, Barathea Guest, and Al Mushtarak. They run down to the final three furlongs then. And with his stable mate moving obligingly off the fence, Giants Causeway takes over. But here comes Kalanisi with his run down the outside. Giants Causeway, Kalanisi looks very strong out wide, challenging wider out. And that may be a sensible ploy here. Giants Causeway possibly can't see him. They're not close together. And he battles hard if he can get a target. But it's Kalanisi and Giants Causeway as they run to the final furlong Giants Causeway is battling well Kalanisi on the near side Kalanisi's just in front and Giants Causeway so they fight again it's Kalanisi and Giants Causeway at the line oh Giants Causeway maybe but it's very close from Kalanisi what a fight again sand down all over again here on the name and where or when on his heels they both got tremendous turns of foot the real buddy is fourth on the near side and then olden times and Tillerman under pressure they're really quickening up now as they're going towards the final two and a half furlongs and hawk wing has got them on the stretch where or when driven hard dome drivers not picking up at the moment real buddy on the stand side but hawk wing he's beginning to get away from where or when as they run down towards the final furlong and a half hawk wing by six legs to where or when dome driver a smart horse is left toiling in third place then real buddy and racing inside the final furlong hawk wing he's absolutely destroying them here where or when 10 legs down in second place hawk wing makes it all a brilliant performance in the locking stakes hawk wing by a mile from where or when in second holden time through for third then in fourth was uh, dome driver navigator in third as they race down now past the three, a new approach uh, raises the tempo, leads by over a length, and stops Art a couple of lengths back to Henry the Navigator. Then Jubilee Pluvius, and now, now, now at the back of the field, they've two furlongs to race. New approach, stops Art on the outside, Henry the Navigator in behind them, yet to make his effort as they race now towards the uh, final furlong or so, and stops Art putting it up to New Approach. Here comes Henry the Navigator on the outside. They're racing inside the final furlong. New Approach on the far side, Henry the Navigator out in the center of the track. Stops Art can't go with him, run right inside the last furlong and Henry the Navigator on the near side sprints to the lead from New Approach. It's not going to be an O's this time. Henry the Navigator wins it by a couple of lengths. New Approach is second, stops out in third. Jupiter Fluby is four. Passing the three, Moon Ballad about three lengths in front. Here's High Chaparral on the outside. Kishokton behind them and Hawkwing is coming into it as well. Two furlongs left to go in the derby. High Chaparral's gone for home but here's the stable mate. It's Hawkwing on the near side. The 2-8 no Brian Runners said down to fight it out. High Chaparral the far side. He's staying on the better. He's a length and a half in front. Hawkwing is trying with every stride. A hundred yards left to go in the derby. It's High Chaparral by two legs and High Chaparral's going to win the derby. High Chaparral goes on to win the Vodafone derby. He outstayed Hawkwing. In third then was Moon Ballard. Followed by Jalani. Down toward the inside. Evan Howell height them now. Shooting past his stablemate Essence of Dubai. Then farther back jump start and repent. Sarland still about a dozen lengths from the lead. Officer has been head to head with came home the entire way. French assault on the outside. They've run three quarters in 111 flat. Siphonic continues bottled up down toward the rail. And now there's room at the inside for Siphonic and Jerry Bailey. And the field turns for home at the top of the stretch. Officer is being tested today by Siphonic and Siphonic puts ahead in front here comes the European champion Johannesburg he's charging hard Repent is coming fast too it is Johannesburg Repent and Siphonic Johannesburg has won it undefeated and now a champion on two continents Johannesburg has won it as they come off the bend now and straighten up for home Less than three furlongs to go in the See the Stars Pretty Polly Stakes and Boca Bacchiat and Colm O'Donoghue out in front. Cora followed by Minding and then comes Lucide and Speedy Boarding running now well inside the final furlong and a half and Boca Bacchiat out in front. Minding now beginning to cut into the lead towards the near side and they're followed by Cora and Lucida running now to the furlong point and Minding now rousted up by Ryan Moore has raced up to catch the long time leader Boca Bacchiat and it's the Oaks winner 
are minding, striding on now to the finish. It'll be a treble for Aidan O'Brien as minding wins readily. They see the stars pretty polished. Well, yeah. On the near side, Mozart leads the way to Shibboleth and then Ishiguru. Cassandra go in a good position behind these. Chased then by Lincoln Dancer and Velata and Mount Abu and three points in the all blue and Mizra at the tail of that group. Heading down to the final quarter mile. And on the near side, Mozart may just be the overall leader. The others on the far side appear to be struggling. Pippalong now late leads that group. But Mozart kicks two lengths to Cassandra Go. Shibboleth in third place. Ishiguro in three points, chasing hard. Mozart, can he hold on inside the final follow against the stands fence? And he's got far too much speed for the Mozart. He's too classy. He's drawn right away. A brilliant win. Mozart by four to five lengths. Cassandra Go second. Close for third. Thanks. Three the back rock of Gibraltar, Canaan looking behind, uh, for no excuse needed, and Johnny Murdas now starting to get to work on that one. Inside the two and a half point, Real Buddy kicks for home now from Sahara Desert. In behind them, Novair. He's absolutely cantering rock of Gibraltar, hasn't gone for him yet. Uh, no excuse needed, shaken up on his outside. This might be a repeat of the Curra, the 2000 Guineas winner there. It's uh, Real Buddy on the far side, being tackled by Novair. Now Canaan says go on rock of Gibraltar. This is a machine. It's walking and walking away with this. Rock of Gibraltar goes on to win the Sussex Stakes in a canter. In second was no. The front two riders decide to step it up fully two and a half out. Rip Van Winkle goes past the Klam, who quickly appears beaten. Delegator trying to latch onto the coattails of Rip Van Winkle. Zakinto beginning a charge down the outside. Rip Van Winkle leading from Delegator, who leans into Zakinto as they both try and hunt down Rip Van Winkle, who goes inside the last. Zakinto got to within about half a length and running a mighty race on the outside. Still Rip Van Winkle. Zakinto has got to win half a length, but now the stamina comes into play and Rip Van Winkle will win the QE2. Makes just about every yard from the home turn. Pestered early by Aklam. Two good on the day. As they make the approach to the straight, it's Roderick O'Connor from So You Think. Snow Fairy is third. Famous name and Don Boyne Express. And then a break of three lengths to recital. Racing now around the home turn in the Red Mills Irish Champion Stakes. And it's Roderick O'Connor, the 2000 Guineas winner, and Joseph O'Brien now being swept aside by So You Think. Snow Fairy putting in a big late bid towards the outside. Racing now to towards the final furlong and so you think strongly pressed by the filly on the near side Snow Fairy they're going neck and neck inside the last 200 so you think on the far side calling on all his reserves Snow Fairy on the near side they're running up towards the finish and so you think will win the champion stakes and his eighth group one Snow Fairy a gallant second clear of famous named on Boyne Express Roderick O'Connor and Charita by a neck. St. Nicholas Abbey is getting closer. Gentle Donners three wide again, three quarters of a length off the pace. Royal Diamond coming off the rail but needs a door. Then await the dawn. Prince Bishop, Trailblazer, very nice name. Girolamo, Duna Den, second last, being ridden along in the bend. And Sharistan had dropped out to the rear when heads were turned for home in the Shima Classic. St. Nicholas Abbey trying to go one better in front. Gentle Donner raising an effort on the outside. They get away from Charretta. Then very nice name. Await the dawn. Royal Diamond. Doing it into the outside. It'll be too late. St. Nicholas Abbey in front. The Japanese mayor trying to run him down. But St. Nick's in front. He'll go one better this year. St. Nicholas Abbey drew clear. He won the Dubai Shima Classic. St. Nicholas Abbey. Tipsy Creek can't live with it. Lock Angel behind these, then Superior Premium, going out wide, clutch to the right, Far Eck and Diamond Diamond, Arcadian Heroes there, Stravinsky's with a run on the far side, Mitchum's outpaced, looking for one to be grand, uh, some way down at this stage, the back marker is Sheer Viking, and they come past the two, and it's Bold Edge that has it, to Bertolini, right on the stands rail, Dipsy Creek comes back from Wolf, Bold Fack with a run, and with the white cap, Arcadian Hero gets a run too, Stravinsky the far side losing into the lead, these visors have held but look at this, Stravinsky bursts clear, and it's Stravinsky, he's annihilated the field, it's Stravinsky by a mile, two bold edge in second of Bertolini, then Arcadian Hero and Vision of Night, and far reckon want to be grand and Sam Pastor and Bianconi. Thanks and a half the distinction called on for Evans, Sergeant Cecil needs a run, as they swing for home now, and Media Puzzle as well back, high action led them into the straight, here's Yates on the outside, ranges up now and grabs the lead quickly, followed then by Tungsten Strike, distinction is under pressure, Out wider then as Reefscape, Sergeant Cecil weaving his way through, but Yates has gone for home now, will he stay just over a furlong and a 
half to go. Distinction battling on, trying hard to make some inroads into this lead as they come inside the final furlong. It's Yates, three or four in front. Reefscape, Distinction. They're not going to catch him. Yates has outclassed them. Yates wins the Ascot Gold Cup by four or five lengths. Tight second photo between Reefscape and Distinction. A gap in the high action in fourth, followed then by Sergeant Cecil Guadalajara.